Let's talk about how to use ramping on Chase Bliss pedals. This is a video I've wanted to make for a little while now. I've got three pedals to demonstrate ramping with you. Firstly, we've got the reverse mode C, then we've got the mood two and the gen loss version two. So we're gonna use all these three pedals to highlight the ramping functionality. People generally fall into one of three camps, in my opinion, around the ramping functionality on any Chase Bliss pedal. One, they don't use it whatsoever. Number two, people that try and play around with it but don't really know what they're doing. And then three, people that utilize it extremely well and consistently. The ability to ramp the sounds that you get from any Chase Bliss pedal is in my opinion one of the reasons they stand out from the rest of the market. So no matter what camp you fall into I just want to share a little bit today around some of the sounds you can get out of these three pedals through ramping and a little bit of how maybe you can make that work for you. Now the first thing to note is that there are two types. One is ramp and one is bounce. Ramp is something that you can do as almost like a one-off movement when you turn your pedal on to start with. Bouncing is where you get a continuous motion or movement of whatever parameters you set up so ramp one-off movement and bounce continuous movement so reverse mode c i've made a series of videos on these recently i'll drop a link somewhere here and at the end of the video if you want to see more about reverse mode c uh, and the mood 2 and the gen loss mark 2 they've all featured on the channel before so if you've not seen those videos or not subscribed hit subscribe go back and have a look at those videos too if we just flip this pedal upwards and you can see the dip switches that you'll get and you get those on all of the standard Chase Bliss pedals, all the three pedals there lined up. So all got dip switches. Once you learn how to use one of the pedals, they're pretty similar across the range. And what you'll notice is that in the top half here, which is what we're going to be looking at, these are the controls and the bottom bit is the more customizable bit, trails and latch and all that sort of stuff. Um, but fundamentally, for the purposes of this video, ramping, we're looking at the top half here on each of the three pedals. They replicate effectively the knobs that you've got on the pedal. So you'll notice that the first uh, dip switch is time. Well, that's time. You'll notice that the second one is offset and offset is there. So these are controlling or telling the pedal which of these parameters you as the user want to customize and use. And then as you go down, you've got bounce and sweep on here. And that is telling the pedal how you want to use them. So I hope that makes sense. Time offset balance filter feedback on this pedal. Time offset balance filter feedback. And then the bounce and sweeps telling the pedal effectively how you want to interact with those settings. And for the purposes of this, we're going to use balance. That's going to impact the voicings. So we've got reverse octave, we've got reverse forward and a combination. So what's going to happen is the pedal is essentially going to bounce at the speed that we set it between wherever we set the balance rate. So the mix knob is gonna determine the speed. The left is really fast, towards the right is a lot slower, and it will move between the bottom and the top point that we set with the specific knob. So in this case, the balance knob, it will move between those two settings at whatever rate we set it here. If we keep the balance knob in the middle there, and we move the mix knob all the way to the left, which is now ramp, You'll hear that there's a lot of the original wet signal coming through and then lots of higher octave delays essentially really quickly most of the time as we move the mix knob or the ramp knob further around that's going to that transition uh, between the different settings that we've got on the balance knob will slow down Hopefully you can hear that. And once you've set the ramp speed, what you need to set then is the sweep, okay? So this is the range of movement that will occur on the, any of the given parameters. So again, we have selected balance. We're gonna to go to the dip switches and you'll see that there is sweep and we have got B and we have got T. So dependent upon where you've got this placed, B will mean that we'll go from the minimum position. So the minimum position would be here 
all the way to the left, all the way up to wherever we've got this, in this instance, balance, wherever we've got this set to. So if we keep it on the dip switch to the left on B, we're going from the left up to wherever. If we switch it to the right and we go on to T, if you can make that out, T, then we are going to go from wherever the parameter, which is balance in this case, is all the way to the right. So I hope that makes sense. So we can either go from the left all the way to somewhere or from the right back to somewhere, depending on whether you've got it on B or you've got it on T. Let's keep this on B. We're going to go from reverse octave and we're going to go all the way up to, let's say, hope that makes sense. If that doesn't make sense, let me know in the comments below, but hopefully I'm explaining that well. <laughs> So we're sweeping from where it is currently back to here and again pretty quickly. Just make that slower. And I won't do it all the way around because it will be really, really slow. But if we go to so 50%, you should hear it moving from there. So you'll hear some of those higher octaves come in at some point. So you're just getting that gradual motion. If we do it the opposite way around, you're probably going to hear some more things. So we're going to flip that to T, which means we're going to go all the way from here and let's set it to reverse. But let's do it all the way. Make it faster. that's moving this balance knob so effectively like me doing this let's move on to another pedal and go to the mood 2 I think the easiest way to demonstrate this on the mood mark 2 would be to go into slip mode which we are um, and see what we can get out of that so let's turn the pedal on let's hear that So that's as it is. And if we were to ramp the modify knob, we get those changes in pitch. So let's do that. So we're going to go to modify. We're going to flick that on. We're going to go to bounce, flick that on. And then we're going to keep sweep as is. So we're going to go left to right. We're going to have it go from all the way to the left there to somewhere in the middle. And we should get a full, um, almost an octave sh shift there, I think, or a full pitch shift. So let's hear that. Again, the mix or ramp, as you'll see in the small right in there, determines how fast. So let's go all the way to the left. This will be super quick. Let's go slow. Even slower. And now let's go to the gen loss. Uh, and what do we think would work well on this? I think what would be really interesting would be to ramp the the amount of wow. Let's keep it simple. Without the wow, turn the failure off would help. So without the wow, dry signal. And 
there we have some wow so let's ramp that flick the pedal up we're going to flick the wow dip switch on we're going to bounce uh, and we will we'll go left to right again so we'll keep the sweep on the left hand side and we're going to go all the way from here and we're going to bounce it all the way to pretty extreme knobs a bit tough to there uh, and we'll do that super fast to start with so let's hear that <laughs> Now, what you can do is you can ramp multiple uh, functions at the same time. So let's just say we wanted to ramp the wow and the flutter. Let's listen to the flutter. It's without. Then we can go from left to right on the wow and on the flutter. And we do that by flicking both of those on. Now the model uh, on this impacts all sorts of EQ, the different tape versions on the pedal. And that makes a big difference as you can hear. So let's ramp that too. Let's go to the model. And we'll switch that on as well. So we're now we're now ramping the wow the flutter and the model. Go fast. And slow it down. That is ramping. That's how I use ramping anyway, at least on the Chase Plus pedals. What's really cool is that you can save those settings. So you can save the ramp um, and the dip switch settings that you've got for any of your sounds on the pedals into one of the presets. And next time you don't have to draw that up, you can just flick on your preset. Uh, so that you've saved and under where you go. Ramping something that took me a little while to get used to. Uh, hopefully I've covered all that off in a sensible, uh, simple way. There will be some of you watching that that maybe doesn't quite hit home. So please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to jump in there and help you with your ramping adventures with the Chase Bliss. But yeah, look, something not to be scared of, something to be embraced. Once you get the hang of it, pretty easy to use, in my opinion, and opens up a whole new avenue of what these pedals can do from Chase Bliss. I drop a couple of videos here on the channel most weeks. If you're not yet subscribed, which most of you aren't, then please do hit that subscribe button. Let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts are and perhaps what you use ramping for in any of your Chase Bliss pedals or any questions that you might have off the back of the video. I'd love to see you here on the next video and thanks for watching.